Hi everyone. Uh, so now we have come to the final conclusion of the malware analysis. Thanks for staying true. Okay. So we were able to interact with the malware by carrying out three different type of analysis: basic static analysis, basic dynamic analysis, and lastly advanced static analysis. First, I'll be going through the basic static analysis, which does not require the malware to be executed. By conducting this analysis, we were able to find out roughly what the malware is doing by examining some of the dynamic link library imported or exported by the malware as well as strings found in the malware. This is made possible by using the dependency worker to examine the DR imported and exported by the malware and bin text to view the strings found in the malware. Apart from this, we can also determine if the malware is packed or not packed by using the PEID. Secondly, we conducted a basic dynamic analysis that requires the ex execution of the malware and to determine most of the malware functionalities. By carrying out this analysis, we were able to determine the file activities, registry activities, mutants used by the malware as well as DNS requests made by the malware. After viewing those activities, we conclude that the malware has created a file called spy dot spyex.txt, another temporary file. Apart from this, the malware had also made some modification to the system registry entries. Last but not least, we'll be doing the advanced static analysis that uses the IDA Pro to view the malware at low level by inspecting the assembly language. By examining its assembly language, we were able to find out the functions that are being called or performed by viewing the function. Call, file, call flow chart as well as analyzing the subroutine of the malware. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this three parter video of the malware analysis. Uh, this is Lu Ting from my team, the other, my the other teammate Zi Liang and Jing Shen. We hope you have a nice day. Thank you.